Uh, greetings, my brothers and my sisters. I want to encourage someone today, someone who's lost and it feels like you've lost everything. It feels like you've lost, even you at a place where it feels like you've lost the desire to move forward. You've lost the desire to stand. You've lost the desire. You've lost it. But, I, but I'm speaking to you today. I'm speaking to you today. God is going to send you your restoration. Restoration is coming to your house. And how do your restoration come? Your restoration is coming to your patience. Pace. Pace. Pace yourself. Trust God. Trust God because God wants to give you a new thing. Matter of fact, not just a new thing. God's going to give you surplus for your faithfulness. The Bible says, the Bible says, um, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and the, them that are the call according to his purpose. See, the thing about it, it's going to work for your good. It's going to work for your good, but if you got to trust him, you got to trust him against all odds. You got to trust him regardless of what you feel. You got to trust him for regardless of, of what people are saying. You got to know God for yourself. And in you knowing God for yourself, God is going to cause life to come to you. See, all God wants is you trust him. See, your breakthrough and your miracle is predica predicated today on you saying, God, I believe you. See, because the Bible said, according to your faith, be it done unto you. And in that faith, I speak life. In that faith, I speak restoration. I speak restoration in your home. I speak restoration in your marriage. I speak restoration in your bank account. I speak restoration even in your vision, your natural vision, as well as your spiritual vision. See, God is enhancing your focus. See, that's what God's been working on, your focus. See, that's why you've been going and suffering, suffering and going through what you're going through for so long. See, because God was maturing your focus. God has birthed something new out of you in his, in his revelation knowledge. God has birthed something new out of you is wisdom. God has birthed something new out of you is patience. God has birthed something out of you is love authority. It's a testimony to say that I'm going to stand regardless. And in that stance, God is going to return back everything that was lost. The Bible said that what the locals and the cankerworms had eaten up, I'm going to restore back to you. God is going to restore back everything that was taken. Matter of fact, the Bible says that if the thief be caught, he got to repay you seven times and he has been caught. And see the thing about it, no more will people will reap from your harvest. No more will people uh, become successful from the things that you sweated over, from the things that you labored for. See, God will and has remembered your labor of love and in the form of him returning and giving it back to you, pressed down, shaken together in the form of restoration. God is sending wind to your house. God is sending wind to your life. Matter of fact, even last night, God spoke to me and he said, hear me and hear me well. God said, I'm going to blow into my people. The places that they de feel like they've been dead and feel like they've been lifeless. It feels like they've been going through the emotions. God said, I'm going to blow into your situation. No, but God's going to give you another refreshing. God's going to give you another revival. God's going to give you another cleansing. God's going to renew your strength again. The Bible said, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. You're going to mount up as wings, as eagles. See, at your place where, where you've been waiting, the place where you felt like you've been, felt like you're weak and weary, at that place, God is going to renew your strength. He's going to call you to, he's going to call you to lunch. He's going to call you to go up and things are beginning to go down. The things that was up on top of you in this season, in this hour, they're going to be, they're going to be under your feet. The thing that was you was facing, the thing that you're looking up to, the thing that was intimidating you, you're going to become the intimidator because of the anointing. God is getting ready to flip it. God will flip your life. God will flip your situation. God will flip your circumstances for such a time as this. Hear me and hear me well. God bless you.